Hi everyone, it's Laura T from Dream Deals 123 on eBay and I'm the Silver Owl Thrifter on YouTube and I'm going to break down what sold last night, how much was profit, and talk about a trend I suspect may be happening among eBay resellers. Okay, I made $158 last night and I sold right off the bat, well, I sold these, these rail fan, lot of three rail fan, railroad, rail fan and railroad magazine, lot of three, July, September, November, 1980, Florida's Gator Line. I stuck that in there to grab any fans of Florida's Gator Line railway system. Sold it for $8, made $3. And I also sold these Air Classics Quarterly Review, Lot of Four, 1978. So they're like the spring, summer, fall, winter. And I sold those for $21 and made $13 on those. Now the reason I wanted, I wanted to talk about that is I have a box about this big of these um, things and I don't want to take it with me when we move. I want to start moving these things. I've had them for years. And uh, so I just went and put everything 40% off on sale and I made a couple of quick sales. So I'm really happy about that. And uh, I also sold them. I wanted to talk about a trend that I think is happening, but I'll talk about that at the end. And I have to talk about another whew, close call by your, your eBay reseller, Silver Owl Thrifter. So this Talbot's Medium Linen Talbot's Medium Linen Coral Tunic. So tunic is kind of a long style. Henley is where you have these buttons. Uh, men's Henley shirts are very popular. Henley relaxed fit long sleeve. Maybe it may be a three quarter sleeve, but it's got a button up there. Anyways, not gonna worry about it. Whoever bought it saw the pictures. And I sold this for $21 and made $12 on that. I sold this Vionic Women's Sneakers. Good shape, size 10, a nice size. Sold them for 30. Vionic Women's Sneakers Shoes, Shea size, that must be the style, Shea size 10, lace up, low top, walking, running black. And I sold those for $32 and made $16 on those. I sold this Batman versus Superman t-shirt. Oh, it's got Batman and Superman there. Uh, t-shirt logo, Dawn of Justice, new USA short sleeve cotton XL for $14 and made $5 on that. And it's new with tag here. It's $24 new. And I sold it for 14 That includes the shipping. But that's about right. I generally think brand new items, but that are secondhand, they usually go for about 50% of the original price, kind of a ballpark. So if this was 24 I probably had it listed at, I had it listed at seven, which is a little low for new, but maybe I took a best offer. Who knows? More about that later. Uh, $14 made $5 on that. Okay. Sold these Michael Kors women's jeans. Got a little logo there on the back. Size 8 straight leg jeans. Uh, sold these for $18 and made $7 on those. I don't sell women's jeans very well. I rarely pick them up anymore. I don't know, sometimes I do. I'll see like a not your daughter's jeans, but I think, again, like with just about everything, the larger sizes do pretty well. All right, now, am I to where I want to be? Can I talk about everything except that, oh no, I wanted to talk about the, this Gap, Gap Women. No, I grabbed the wrong one. 
Gap women denim distress short hauls. Okay, this will all tie in. Okay, so the title says Gap women's denim distressed short tails jean romper short overalls jumper size 12. And then I don't know if you can see here, but I kind of glance at it like this. Okay, and I see that. And so I go back there and I'm like, oh yeah, I got some rompers, jumpers. This isn't a romper though. This is, well, it is an overall. So I just grab this thinking it's the Gap one, but this is actually made well. Thankfully, I am becoming ever more diligent at checking things before I just throw them in a bag and ship them. Because this is what else I did today. I sold Land's End Tankini Top Blue White 22W. Again, I don't know if you can see there, the kind of middle one. That's it. So I glance at it, and I'm like, blue and white. Okay, blue and white. And I go in my big box where I just put all of my, every single bathing suit is in one big box, which maybe needs to change. Um, I'll tell you my thoughts on that, too. So I grab this, okay? Blue and white, tankini. Yeah, tankini means it doesn't have a bottom, it just is the top. Land's End, I look at it and it says 16DD and I'm like, oh no, I wrote the wrong <laughs> size in again. And I was like, how can I do that? How can I do that? And then I'm like, wait a minute, could I possibly have another Land's End tankini blue and white that looks like this? You bet I can. You bet I can. Huh? This is the one. This is the Land's End 22W. See, this is what happens. Um, I like this style. I like Land's End. I like tankinis. I like blue and white. They make a lot of bathing suits. So when I pick them up, I just pick them up. I pick up the same thing. When you, when you have, I have like 2,300 items. And when you have that many, and you keep going back to the same kind of bread and butter items all the time, you're going to start having duplicates of things and that has gotten me into big trouble by scent like i almost the old me would have just grabbed this blue and white land's end and and thrown it in there well maybe i wouldn't because i anyways you know what i mean so and then the same kind of happened with this one right okay so be careful be careful out there it's a jungle it's it's a madhouse um <laughs> Just around here. Anyhow, what else? Oh yeah, the trend, the trend. Um, just from a few of the resellers that I watch, like Hustling Hooks, Big Yumbo, Kaylee Elaine, to mention a few, I've noticed that a lot of them are constantly and consistently going back into their old, old inventory and putting it on sale, just like I am. And I think that that is kind of something that a lot of resellers are doing. And what it's doing is causing, at least for me now, Kaylee Elaine, she was showing her average uh, sale price was like $34 an item. And my average sale price, I don't even know what it is, but I would say it's more like $12 an item or something like that. And uh, I'm good with that. But um, I think a lot of it just has to do with, you know, complete, we just run things completely differently. Um, and yeah, everybody's different. But anyways, I do think there's a trend. So I think that prices are, are more and more people are gonna be cutting prices and giving deals. So keep that in mind. Try to get that buy-in price uh, super, super low. You know what a good price is? Free. Free is like my absolute favorite price. So <laughs> uh, yes, what did I make? What did I make? See, just off the top of my head, I sold eight items and made $78. So, yeah, so that's like $10 an item profit. All right. Uh, so I made 158 gross for a total of 44539 this year. And net, I made 78 It's about 50% of my gross, which is about average for me. And my net of my gross yearly sales is also about 50% at 22,370. So there you have it. Crisis averted.
All right, until tomorrow, this is Silver Owl Thrifter signing off.